वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सॉल्व चैप्टर टू एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू पॉइंट थर्टी वन वाइल सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल बी यूजिंग किर्च ऑफ वोल्टेज ला दिस ला स्टेट्स डेट सम ऑफ सप्लाइड एंड ड्रॉप्ड वोल्टेज अक्रॉस सर्किट एलिमेंट्स इन अ क्लोज लूप इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू जीरो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस ला अकामोलेटिव सप्लाइड एंड ड्रॉप्ड वोल्टेज इन साइड अ क्लोज लूप इज ऑलवेज जीरो नाउ मूव टूवर्ड्स द प्रॉब्लम एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू पॉइंट थर्टी वन फाइंड वोल्टेज वी जीरो इन गिवन बिलो फिगर दिस इज द सर्कट डायग्राम ऑफ गिवन प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू फाइंड वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस वोल्टेज डिपेंडेंट सोर्स डेट इज लेबल्ड एज वी जीरो and the amount of v0 is equal to 2 va so without wasting time let's proceed towards the solution this is a closed loop circuit and we will use kirchhoff's voltage law to solve this problem this circuit includes only a single closed loop and while using this single closed loop we cannot solve this problem so we have to assume an imaginary loop that will be present across this voltage va we are assuming that there is an element and across this element voltage is appearing as va now we have two loops inside the circuit one is an assumed or imaginary loop and other one is the real loop inside the circuit now we have to assume the direction of current inside this circuit we will solve this problem in two paths first we will apply kirchhoff's voltage law inside this imaginary closed loop circuit and other kvl will be applied across this closed loop we are considering that the current i is passing through this imaginary as well as the outer loop and the direction of current is clockwise direction now write kirchhoff's voltage law equation for this imaginary closed loop we will start from this voltage source current entering terminal is positive so voltage of this voltage source will be taken with positive sign plus 12 volt next is vx current entering terminal is positive so vx will be taken with positive sign next is voltage dependent source the value of this voltage dependent source is 4 vx and current entering terminal is negative so value of this voltage dependent source will be taken with minus sign Minus four V X. Move to next element. Current entering terminal is positive, and voltage across this element is labeled as V A. So voltage V A will be taken with positive sign. Plus V A is equal to zero. Now solve this equation. Replace voltage V X with its value. That is the product of current through this resistance and the value of resistance I multiply by four ohm. so the value of vx is 4 multiplied by i place the value of vx inside this equation and it will become vx is replaced with 4i here also vx is replaced with 4i now open these brackets and multiply 4 with 4i the equation will become plus 12 plus 4i minus 16i plus va equal to 0 now subtract 4i from 16i it will become minus 12i because the larger value have minus sign along with it so the equation is formed 12 minus 12i plus va equal to 0 now inside this equation there are two variables one is va and other one is i so we cannot further solve this equation so label this equation as equation a and move to the next outer loop of the circuit on this outer loop we will apply kirchhoff's voltage law for that purpose we will assume the direction of current inside this loop i am assuming the direction of current clockwise you may take counter clockwise as well current i will be flowing from this outer loop as well write kvl equation for this outer loop we will start from this voltage source current entering terminal is positive due to clockwise direction of current Plus 12 volt. Move to next element. Current entering terminal is positive, so plus V X. Move to next element. Current entering terminal is negative, so the value of this voltage dependent source, that is 4 V X, will be taken with minus sign. 
move to next element current entering terminal is positive so voltage across this 2 ohm resistance will be taken with positive sign that is the product of current through this resistance and the value of resistance plus 2 multiply by i here i forget to mention polarity notation across this 2 ohm resistance but as you know that we are following passive sign convention theory according to that theory current entering terminal across a resistance is taken with positive sign and current leaving terminal is taken with negative sign and this assumption is take only that case when no polarity is specified across this resistance if polarity notation across this resistance was given in problem then we will be bounded to follow that polarity notation right now we are assuming our own polarity notation across this resistance move to next element current entering terminal is positive so 2 va will be taken with positive sign now solve this equation we know the value of vx that is 4 multiplied by i so replace vx with its values inside this equation this vx is replaced with 4i similar case is here vx is replaced with 4i now solve this equation open these brackets it will become minus 16i plus 12 plus 4i minus 16i plus 2i plus 2va equal to 0 now add these together minus 16i plus 4i plus 2i will become minus 10i because the higher value have minus sign along with it now we cannot further solve this equation because this equation also have two variables inside it so we will label this equation as equation b and we will try to find out the value of va from this equation a and place that value of va inside this equation b to calculate the value of voltage to va in this equation a if we place this minus 12i and 12 on the other hand side of equal we can calculate the value of va that will become va equal to minus 12 plus 12i now place the value of va inside this equation b to calculate the value of current i va is replaced with minus 12 plus 12 i open these brackets 2 will multiply with minus 12 it will become minus 24 and again 2 will multiply with 12 i it will become 24 i now solve this equation 12 will subtract from minus 24 it will become minus 12 and minus 10 will subtract from plus 24 it will become plus 14 i place this minus 12 on the other hand side of equal and divide with 14 to calculate the value of i that is 12 divided by 14 a here a is representing current in ampere this equation can be further simplified the value of current i will become 6 divided by 7 ampere value of current i can be placed inside this equation b to calculate the value of 2 va and if we succeed to calculate the value of 2 va this 2 va is equal to v0 because of parallel connection so we will be able to calculate value of v0 so place the value of current i inside this equation b 12 minus 10 i is replaced by 6 divided by 7 plus 2 va equal to 0 10 will multiply with 6 it will become 60 over 7 now take the lcm between these two values 7 will multiply with 12 it will become 84 minus 60 divided by 7 plus 2 va equal to 0 subtract 60 from 84 and place this value on the other hand side of equal to calculate the value of 2 va that will become minus 24 over 7 and this 2 va is equal to v0 so the value of v0 will be minus 24 over 7 so this was exercise problem number 2.31 thank you see you again in next video